Hi everybody, so for this uh, equation they want us to plot these three points and graph a line through it, okay? Um, so there's actually one step to do here before we get started which is to solve for y because you, you want to get y in its own so that you can de then uh, graph the, the table. So how do we solve for y? Like what's being done to y that we need to undo to get y by itself? So 3x is being added, right? So what's the inverse operation to adding 3x? Right, so how about subtract 3x, right? Subtract 3x, take it away. And if I subtract 3x from the left, I must subtract 3x also from the right of the equation, okay? So that leaves us with y equals 2 minus 3x or I'm going to write that negative 3x plus 2, okay? And now we can make a little table like this. And we can plug in some points to graph the line. I'm going to plug in what they gave us here. Negative 1, 0, and 1. Negative 1, 0, and 1. I'm going to use those points to graph, to uh, find y values. And so when I plug in x's, I want, I'm going to use parentheses, and I'd like you guys to do that also. Use parentheses to plug in the x values, and then calculate, right? So we're going to plug in negative 1, 0, and 1. So um, feel free to press pause on the video and complete it from here. Com complete these points, plot them, and then draw a line through it. And just, just fast forward the video and check your answer. Okay, I'm going to go through it quickly now. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 three bad guys and two good guys, one bad guy, right? Where a debt of three dollars plus two dollars cash leaves you in debt by one, right? And now we can plot um, these points. It's negative one, five, zero, two, and one, negative one. So negative one, five, that's one point, zero, two, and one, negative one. So negative one, five, And then we have 0, 2. And then we have 1. Oh, 0, 2 is over here. And then we have... Right, so we've got um, one more point. Then we have, so we've got 1, negative 1, which is here. And, uh, sorry, that was a mistake. Just try to ignore that point there. All right, so... Um, We've got to put our line through these points. Uh, let's see. Like that. And um, that's, that's the, the answer there. That's our, our line for this equation. A couple of things I'm going to point out. It goes through the y-axis at 2. And notice that 2 appears here because when x is 0, when x is 0, when x is 0 here, the y is 2. See that when x is 0, y is 2. And so that's our called our y-intercept point because that's where it hits the y-axis. The other thing I want to point out to you is that um, if you take any point, go over 1 and uh, and then be directly above the, another point, you, you'll be going down three. So, for example, between these two points, I can go over one and down three. So I can run across horizontally one spot, one one uh, unit, and then drop down three units. So I can run across one and drop down three. You know, run across one, down three, over one, down three, and that gets me to the next point. So. 
um, when every time I go over one, I go down three, right? And um, we call that the rise and the run, right? So I'll see how I was running across one, and every time I did that, I rise, my rise, well, I didn't rise, I guess I fell. So my rise was negative three, so I went down three. And negative three over one is negative three, right? And notice that that's that number there, negative three, and that's the slope, okay? The number in front of the x. All right, you can see that on the graph. Every time you go over one, you go over one and down three and you get to the next point, right?